This problem gives us two electric charges and asks us to find the electric field at the origin. The first charge is negative. It's located here. I'll draw it in blue. And the second charge is positive. Located here, I'll draw it in orange. The electric field from either of these charges is proportional to the charge divided by r squared times r hat, where r is the distance between the charge and the point where we're calculating the field, and r hat is the unit vector from the charge to that point. It's useful to rewrite the r hat vector as the vector r divided by its magnitude, so that we get this result. The r vector from each charge to the origin equals minus x x hat minus y y hat so that we end up with this expression. Now let's draw the electric fields from each of these two charges. The blue charge is negative, so its electric field is directed towards it. The orange charge is positive, so its electric field is directed away from it. We need to add these two electric fields. The x component of the net electric field is the sum of the x components which we can write from the equation on the first line. It's proportional to charge 1 divided by R1 cubed times negative x1 plus charge 2 divided by R2 cubed multiplied by minus x2. The problem statement gives us the value of each charge, so we can substitute those. We know the Coulomb constant k. I'll write its value here. We know that charge 1 is located at x equals 0.6 meters, and charge 2 is at the same x value. Now we can calculate r1 using the Pythagorean theorem. 0.6 meters squared plus 0.8 meters squared square root equals 1 meter. And the distance between charge 2 and the origin is 0.6 meters. When we substitute all of those numbers and calculate, we find that the x component of the net electric field is negative 128 newtons per coulomb. We calculate the y component of the net electric field in the same way, by adding up the individual y components, and that's shown here. It's proportional to charge 1 divided by r1 cubed times minus y, because it's the y component, plus the same term for charge 2, with y2 equals 0, we just need the one additional value, y1 equals 0.8 meters. Substitute all the values and calculate to find the y component of the net electric field is 28.8 newtons per coulomb. Now let's sketch this net electric field. Here's its x component in the negative x direction. The y component is positive, and this is the vector. Its magnitude is the square root of the sum of the squares. When you calculate that, you find it equals 131 newtons per coulomb. We'll write its direction first in terms of this angle phi, and then in terms of the polar angle theta. Phi is the inverse tangent of the ratio of the lengths of the two sides, opposite over adjacent. That works out to 12.7 degrees. And theta is 180 minus that, which works out to 167 degrees. So that gives us the magnitude and direction of the net electric field at the origin.